as promised, I am doing a separate video about Cyberpunk 2077's Phantom Liberty expansion. In my review of the expansion overall, I tried my best to not have spoilers. This is going to be a huge spoiler. I'm going to explain to you why I hate this ending and what I would have done instead. So if you are planning to play this and you don't want spoiled, now is the time to look away. I'm going to be spoiling not only the ending, but um, just main points of the expansion storyline as well. So if you do not want spoilers from Phantom Liberty, the Cyberpunk 2077 expansion, now is the time to turn this thing off because this is going to be nothing but spoilers. So I'm going to give you a, just a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's your own fault now. So here's the thing. We all know from Cyberpunk 2077, every ending basically has V die. There's some hope that V might find a cure, might be able to get some help, but probably going to die, right? The pressing. So I think a lot of people, myself included, had hoped that there would be a more optimistic ending given to us in Phantom Liberty. And I don't know. Okay, I don't like this ending. So CD Projekt Red. When I said I wanted an ending in which V lives, I didn't mean for you to make it the absolute most miserable possible way for V to live. Okay, if you're watching this, you're probably familiar with the main story, but I'm going to give you a very quick recap to the main story. The main story is V is a small time mercenary and uh, he or she, I'm going to say she because I just played a she version. I just played a female V. Um, pairs up with Jackie Wells. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? who is also kind of a small time mercenary and they work together and they want to become big time legends in night city and they team up and they do a heist in which they break into Konpeki Plaza and they steal this thing called the relic, which is a, like a shard, like a data shard that gets slotted in to a person and it has somebody else's like, Ingram, their soul that's been digitized and put on to a memory card or whatever. Um, this Ingram, this relic has Johnny Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. Who was a punk rocker turned terrorist. Uh, has his Ingram on it. And uh, during the heist, it, it gets slotted into V's port. <laughs> Chip. Don't do it for me. And then V gets shot in the head, and the relic, once V is dead, actually starts to repair the damage. And re basically reboot her body, this time with Johnny Silverhand in her body. And so her and Johnny Silverhand are competing for the body, or the body like that thinks that V shouldn't be there anymore. It should be Johnny's body. And so the relic is slowly killing V. Okay, that's like the main thrust of the main game. That's incredibly oversimplified, but you guys get the idea. That'll do. So V is spending all this time and effort trying to figure out a way to get this relic out of her head and Johnny Silverhand out of her head so she can live. Every ending to the main game has some element of despair. Like, <laughs> we can help you, but we can't help you. For example, if you do the Arasaka ending, then V helps Hanako Arasaka and Takimura take down your Nobo. If you take that ending, it's she promises to be able to help V, and then she kind of can't. 
they've gotten Johnny Silverhand out of her head, but she's still going to die. Maybe she's got six months. That That is kind of what goes on with every single scenario. We can help you, but you're still going to die. Like, no matter what you do, if you plug into Mikoshi, Alt Cunningham says, <clears throat> you're going to die no matter what. Like, I've got Johnny off of the Ingram, and you guys are split up, and he's going to stay here, but your body is still going to die. Unless you let Johnny take your body, then Johnny can live a natural life in your body. Um, in which case, V still kind of dies right? All of those are bleak. I thought, well, maybe, just maybe, Phantom Liberty will give us a better ending and V will live. So here's what happens. Hold on to your butts. In the beginning of Phantom Liberty, V saves the president of the NUSA. And the president vows to help V as long as V will help save her net runner. Um, Songbird, who's a crazy good net runner and has tapped into the black wall. And you have to work with Solomon Reed to do this. Solomon Reed is Idris Elba's character. Apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chung's ribs, even if he is on your side. You do have a choice near the end of the game of the expansion to either stick with Solomon Reed and betray Songbird or betray Solomon Reed and help Songbird. Either way, you've either got a short ending where you help her and now the president of the NUSA and Solomon Reed will not help you. And so basically you just have your other endings available. But if you help Solomon Reed in such a way, even if you help Somberg, but at the very end, help Reed, you get this new ending in which they're like, our best surgeons at Langley are going to help you. They think they can help you um, get rid of this relic and get rid of Johnny. But in this ending, Johnny goes nowhere. Like in the, in the regular endings, Johnny's going to make it into Mikoshi, right? So you get split from Johnny, but Johnny's still an entity in Mikoshi. So he can stay there and be joined with Alt Cunningham and, you know, whatever. But if you do this, he's going to be totally excised with nowhere to go, which means he's just basically going to be killed again. This part I thought was well written. I don't cry at video games very often other than like out of frustration because I can't beat a boss. Not over the actual storyline itself. There's been a couple of times, you know, Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2 both got me teared, teary eyed when people died um but in this one if you've played like i played most of the main game before i finished i, I did everything up to the end of the main game and then i just had all all of the endings available to me and i chose the phantom liberty ending just to see what happens so i had this very strong bond with johnny silverhand already and that was gut-wrenching like because he's like you're going to kill me if you do this you're going to kill me it's going to kill me and um v is like i'm so sorry you know i i don't want to do this but this is the safest way like in any of these other options i might not make it this one i i definitely will and i'm really sorry and so finally johnny is like i get it and i want you to live and i understand it scares me i can't stick around to see what happens to you, the world. But honestly, thought of you gone so I could live always scared me more. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo? Yes, so. Promise me one thing, will you? I promise. No idea what, but I promise. Not asking you to never give up. Sometimes you gotta let go. Just don't let anyone change who you are, okay? Johnny, 
Good night, Valerie. Today was a good day. Emotional damage. I played it again. Like I went back and played it again um, after helping Songbird, and I didn't play all the rest of it again. I just like I just want to see what happens if I help her. And uh, oh man, he's like he's big man. And because you guys aren't friends, there's no like. I understand, buddy. You know, you got to do, I want you to survive, blah, blah, blah. It was like, how dare you? You're just selfish. Blah. And I was like, oh, this is awkward. But when you are truly friends with Johnny, it was like a, a gut punch. It was so hard to watch. I actually was like, I legit had some tears at that point. Are you crying? No. Yes. It was hard. And then whichever of that you choose, you know, V wakes up in a hospital room. Reed is there. And I got to tell you, they did a good job with making him look different, but still Reed. But I was like, why is he so chunky? Reed, uh, is that you seem different somehow? Even almost look like uh. Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. No exception. Like he wasn't he was like very fit in the main part of the expansion and I thought, oh no. Yeah, V's been in a coma for two years. There's uh one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. And she basically told everybody she's just going to be gone for a couple of weeks. Uh, they think she's just like ghosted. Then to make things worse, they were able to excise Johnny and remove the relic. But it had done so much damage to her body, she could no longer use pretty much any implants. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. But she's gonna live. I mean, she's got no friends, no way to make money. Her apartment, she's been evicted because she didn't pay rent. You try calling all your little friends, try to meet up with them. Not a one of them, except for Victor, will actually meet with V. I'm not the man you used to know. You'd do better just forgetting about me, V. Sometimes things just don't work out, and it's nobody's fault. Goodbye, River. Bye. Thanks for being a good presence in my life for a time. V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now, I really can't help you. V, you know I'd love to help. I really would, but I, I just can't swing it. Play in Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry. The subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. It just made River into a real jerk, right? I was really unhappy. <laughs> like, Judy was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm off. I'm married. I can't come back and help you. Bleh, you're on your own. Uh, everybody was like that. Oh, I've gotten too busy. Pan Am wouldn't even answer the phone. But I actually have a theory Pan Am's a terrible person anyway, just so you know. I actually don't like her character all that much because she's kind of a jerk. The only one who does finally say, yeah, absolutely, I want to see you. Let me see what I can, if I can even help you, is Victor. They saved me, new lease on life, but Chrome's a no-go for me. No, even simple muscle boosters. And is that what they told you? Quack. 
tracks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. But you go see him, and he's like, whoops, I was wrong. And you find out Night City is way different, because Arasaka is leaving the city, but other corporations have taken over. Misty's Esoterica is gone. It's just horrible. It's just horrible. Everything about it is bad. Everything about the city is bad. She's got no relationships that are left, and she ends up leaving Victor's clinic really disappointed because he's sold out and he's unhappy but he's trying to convince himself that he's happy and he doesn't even have great advice and then she leaves and gets beaten up for money because (laughs) she can't defend herself anymore and misty shows up and misty's like well now you're just like one of the rest of us you saw what happened can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos where do i go from here you'll learn to live like us regular folk Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. (laughs) Mate, you're bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. V walks off and just literally just blends into the crowd. sucks. I was so mad. Ah! I was so mad. So, okay. <laughs> Bad perspective on my part, because at least V is alive. But V doesn't get to be V anymore. Which, you know, in fairness, in real life, stuff happens. And we do adapt. And we do have to change. Like, In real life, if somebody woke up from a coma two years later and suddenly, I don't know, maybe they were missing a leg or something. They'd been in a horrible accident and they missed, now they're missing a leg and their fiance had moved on or whatever. People do recover and they do create a new life for themselves. Like that is possible. People overcome these things, totally get it. And sometimes are even, you know, more blessed later. You, You don't know, but that's real life. All right. This is a video game. I want a fantasy video game happy ending, okay? I don't want real life in my video game. I want what I want in a video game. (laughs) I'm okay with moral conundrums. I am okay with everything not being pitch perfect. Wonderful. But um, I just feel like there could have been a better option here. Here's something that I would have recommended had I been a writer for Cyberpunk 2077. Or Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. I think you could have married a lot of these ideas together in an option in which V has to make a choice. Instead of trying to remove the relic, maybe somebody says, you know, we can make your body work with the relic and make it adjust and adapt and stop trying to kill you. But you'll have to have Johnny Silverhand in your head for the rest of your life. Because we can't get him out of there and still leave the relic in there or whatever. Like, I think that would have been an interesting setup. Like, do I deal with having the second person in my head for the rest of my life? Or do I get them out of my head so that it's just me, but I shorten my life because now I can't make the relic work. I think that would have been a really interesting and intriguing ending. I personally would 
keep Johnny Silverhand in my head. Mainly because the way Johnny Silverhand has been written in this game, he has this huge character arc in which by the end of the game, he's he's a much nicer person. V has rubbed off on him and he's rubbed off on V and it's it's good. That's That was very good writing, by the way. I thought that was excellently done. Very well written. But I think that would have been a conundrum because you still are like, well, and I've still got to have this extra voice in my head seeing everything I do. If I'm, you know, going to the bathroom, whatever, like every, I'm never going to have privacy again. Never, ever going to have privacy again. <laughs> Can I live like that? As a gamer, I would do it. <laughs> if for no other reason, I want, I want to see how that would look, you know. And frankly, I got, I've gotten to the point of like Johnny Silverhand. So yeah, I think that would have been interesting. But then I think there still would be some people like, no, I got, I, as much as like Johnny Silverhand, I've got to have my own space. I've got to have my own mind back. And I would rather allow myself to die um, than continue on this way for the rest of my life. So I, that's what I would have written. I would have written an ending that included that option but it would have only made it one ending and it probably would have been really hard to get there. And, um, and you probably would have had some difficult choices along the way that wouldn't necessarily be nice. That's what I would have done. I'm just saying. And just like I said, that there still could have been some interesting things. You know, you could have your significant other, like, I'm not sure I can continue this relationship knowing there's a third, a third person in this relationship. Like there's another person in your head who may or may not be excited about this relationship. You still could even have that kind of conundrum happening, even with that answer. And then you kind of would have prepped the game for uh, part two. You would have opened up opportunity, more opportunity for a sequel game. That's what I would have done. Now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me about that. Like they're going to say, no, the only way this could end is with V being in this bleak state. Just like I said, there was no story arc for Iron Man that didn't end with him dying. I knew early on that Iron Man was going to have to die in the Marvel Universe. Like that just didn't make sense for his character not to. Of course, that would be the ultimate character arc for Tony Stark to go from being this selfish playboy to making the ultimate sacrifice for the good of others, of people he doesn't even know, you know, like that, that is how that should have happened. And he should stay dead. Marvel should not bring him back. If you're going to kill somebody off, you know, I'm not opposed to sometimes bringing a character back or they weren't really dead, like sometimes, but you can't do it all the time. Or there's just no, there's no point to ever kill anybody off. It means nothing. After I finished recording this and I started making my notes to prepare for editing, I realized there was another option for an ending that would have also prepped the game for a sequel game. If you were going to use this coma ending nonsense, well, use it to its full effect, right? Have V tell everybody, hey, I'm going off the grid, which she kind of did, but maybe give just enough more information that people would not immediately assume they'd just been ghosted by V when she didn't show up again. But, you know, let's say River. Hey, River, you know, I can't give you details because there's some secrecy involved, but I'm going to have an operation and hopefully they can save me and I should see you in a couple of weeks. Just enough hints, just dropping enough hints for once V didn't respond after a couple of weeks, River could say, okay, something's up, something's wrong, and I need to know what's going on. V tore the town up with River to find River's nephew. I think it would also be interesting to see River try to find V. And at first I thought, well, you could just make that like an optional end mission, kind of like at the end of Red Dead Redemption when you play John Marston's son, that everybody hates Jack or I did anyway, I hated Jack, but you play Jack and you finish out the game. But really in this case, you could almost dovetail that into a whole second game in which River has to go through all of these hoops to find out what happened to V and find V and potentially have them have their happy ending. I think that would have been a 
a challenge, but I think it would have been awesome. And it would have been uh, just another idea that could have been explored. Of course, if you were going to just do this as an ending and not try to dovetail it into another game, you also could have had V go into a coma just longer than two weeks, but maybe not two years and be able to salvage at least one friendship. Or, you know, you could have just made V's romantic interest not a jerk. That's, that's all. That's just my take on it. That's what I would have done differently. I think some stories just are not meant to have happy endings and they're still worth reading or watching or whatever. But it's probably not going to be something I ever write because I like the escapism of a movie or games. I want better than real life. (laughs) We're not always going to get a happy ending in real life. And that's just how it is. But in a video game, you have more control. So um, yeah, that's what I would have done. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments what you think. If this is something you like, let me know. I would would be happy to uh, do a recap and an alternate take on other stories. If that's something that you find interesting. Leave me your thoughts below. Uh, what do you think? Do you like this ending? Do you think that they should have changed it? Did you, do you think I'm just being too um, overly sentimental? I'm interested. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. You know, all the things you're supposed to do out on the internets. And otherwise, that's it for now.